I was like, I have the chance to save my leg, so I'm gonna take it because I could either not have my leg or at least try this one last thing, even if it may not work. From like third grade to eighth grade, I played basketball. And eventually I ended up with shin splints. She went to some therapy and uh, we thought she was good. She um, finished the therapy and went to go try out for a basketball team in high school and made the team. She was experiencing some pain every now and then while playing. They were at the point of breaking, and so uh, we decided, after looking at everything, to have rods inserted into her legs to help her heal, and the right one became infected. So McKaylin presented to us with really what we call an infected non-union of her tibia, meaning that she had a bone infection and that had weakened the bone so much that it caused the bone to break. And in spite of intensive treatment with antibiotics and multiple surgeries and even hyperbaric oxygen and other things to help with the healing process, couldn't get rid of the infection in the bone. You know, we're at the point where we might have to consider amputation in order to take care of the infection and not let it spread and all that, so that she might lose her leg. It was really a stressful time for her and her family. Fortunately, uh, we felt that we had an option for her that wouldn't require amputation and we were cautiously optimistic that we could get her back to what she wanted to be doing knowing that the treatment that we we're going to propose was going to take potentially another 12 months to get her through and we wanted to really make sure she was ready for this. Um, when I heard that they said it was going to be for a year I think at that point because I've already had so many surgeries I was kind of like, I have the chance to save my leg, so I'm gonna take it. I will tell you that every visit we had from that point forward was different because she had hope. And so I saw a different McKaylin after that point. She was like more excited, she was more hopeful. Being here with the medical team has gotten rid of so much anxiety that I've had because I trust them. And I think that's very, very important that you, that you can have that bond with your medical team. So I like that. The doctors talk to me and they ask me about the stuff that I'm going through because it is me. <laughs> They're so amazing. Everybody is so amazing. Like I rave so much about this place because it is very different than any other place we've been to. Mental health is probably the biggest thing that I struggled with during this whole thing. It's crazy for it. And it was really important for me as a parent to listen because I couldn't just assume a lot of things, like I couldn't assume what she was feeling, because no matter how much I know her, I don't know what she's going through, like literally. After we resected the, the infected bone, almost a third of her tibia was missing. So we proposed bone transport, which is a technique that we use where we cut the bone up above where the gap is, and we slowly move a segment of bone down to fill in that gap. So we basically are trying to fool the body into healing that gap. So the gap is filled by her normal bone, and then the gap left by the normal bone fills in with new bone. So we are regrowing a segment of her tibia to fill in. She's so strong. She's an inspiration to me. Um, she's taught me how important it is to be, to be able to self-motivate, you know, because no matter who you have around, you ultimately, you are the one who has to keep yourself going. It's a testament to her will and her strength um, and she made things easier for us. You know, she helped us help her, and that made all the difference. You know, this place, just every single person just really cares. Like, they really care, not just about what they're doing and how they're helping you get better, but about her, you know? And I think that's really what drove her to want to be here every week. Do you feel like you can? Well, let's see it. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, now to put it in perspective, this is the first time you've walked without crutches and without an or an external fixator in two and a half years. Yeah. Right, two and a half years your leg hasn't been. Yeah. This is yes, reason to clap. Absolutely, reason to clap.